Have you ever visited a website where the navigation bar highlights the section you are currently viewing? That's called the scrolls by navbar and in this tutorial we are going to build one from scratch using just HTML, CSS and a little bit of JavaScript. Whether you are building a personal site, a portfolio or a landing page, this feature will definitely add a polished touch. So let's jump right in and get coding. We begin with the header element. This is where we place the top navigation bar. The part that usually stays at the top of the website. Inside that we are using a nav tag and giving it an ID of navbar. This will help us to style and target it later using JavaScript. Inside the nav we have added 4 anchor links section 1 to section 4. Each anchor tag has an href attribute that starts with hashtag like hashtag section 1, hashtag section 2 and so on. This means whenever someone clicks on one of these links, it will jump or scroll to the section with the matching ID further down the page. Now that we have set up our nav, let's create those sections. We are adding 4 section elements, one for each link. Each section has a unique ID that matches the corresponding link like section 1, section 2 etc. Inside each section we have a heading using h2 tag and a paragraph with some placeholder text. Just some lorem ipsum text to fill, uh, fill out for now. This setup is important because it gives our page vertical height, enough content to scroll through. And scrolling is the key here because we are going to highlight the nav link of the section currently in view. That's what scroll spy does. So now we got a fixed structure, a navbar at the top and 4 sections down the page. If you preview right now, you will see all the links and sections but right now they look plain and unstyled. Let's change that by adding some CSS to style everything and make it look clean and scroll friendly. Let's start with some basic global styles. The asterisk selector targets everything on the page. We are setting box sizing to border box to make width and padding easier to manage. Then we remove default margin and padding that browser app. Next we style the body and apply the pop-ins font we linked from google fonts earlier. This gives our text a clean and modern look. Now let's style the header and navbar. We set the header to position fix so it stays at the top of page when we scroll. It stretches from left to right and gets a black background with white text. We add a little vertical padding and set a Z index high so it stays above the other content. Inside the nav, we use display flex to align the links in a row and give them some spacing using gap. Each anchor tag inside the nav loses its underline with text decoration none and the text color is set to white. We also add a small transition so the color can change smoothly when we later make a link active.
When a section becomes visible on the screen, we highlight the matching link in the navbar by changing its color to bright blue. This visual feedback helps the users know exactly where they are on the page as they scroll. The active class is what makes this happen. It gets added to the correct link through JavaScript and the color change makes it stand out from the rest. It's a subtle but powerful way to guide your users through the content. Now let's style the main sections. We give each section a height of 100 VH which means 100% of the viewport height. So each one fills the screen. We also add some padding to create space around the text. To make the layout visually cleaner, we alternate the background color using the nth child. Odd numbered sections get a light gray and even ones get a slightly darker shade. Next, we increase the heading size with font size 36 and for the paragraph text we set it to 18px and increase the line height for better readability. Now coming to JavaScript, we first select all the anchor tags inside the nav element using document.querySelectorAll. This gives us a list of all the nav links so we can later update them dynamically. Next we define a function called setActiveLink. We first create a variable called currentSection which will store the id of the section that is currently visible in the viewport. Then we loop through all section elements. For each section we calculate where it starts, offset top minus 50 to adjust for the fixed navbar and where it ends. If the current scroll position, 
window dot scroll y falls between the top and bottom of a section we store that section's id after that we loop through all the nav links we first remove the active class from every link and then we check if the href of each link matches the current section's id we add the active class to that link Finally, we use add event listener to call our set active link function whenever the user scrolls. That means every time the scroll position changes, we'll check which section is visible and highlight the current link in the navbar. And that's it. We have built a clean and responsive scroll spy navbar using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Now, as you scroll through the page, your navigation updates in the real time, giving users a smooth and interactive browsing experience. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more web development tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.